What's happening everybody? Thanks for coming by the channel. Yes, I am out from behind the camera on this little build I'm going to do. It is a Sculptfun S9 laser all-in-one unit. I'm adding it to my workshop. I wanted to be able to do some etching and carving and I can also cut wood material, plexiglass, up to 15 millimeters I believe on the wood. Plexiglass, I believe it's dark plexiglass that cuts better because obviously there's a burn edge that's associated with it. Um, I just want to do a quick review on it, put get it put together. That's kind of what this video is about and I appreciate everybody coming by and let's get started on this build.
All right. We have a built laser. My time in it is probably about 25 minutes. Uh, a few things to point out as I was building. Um, first of all, I uh, put all the screws in loose. That way I could get them to a point where I could square the bed up, the frame, I should say. And once I got the frame, I worked on one corner, tightened up one corner, and then as you go around, you should make sure, double check, triple check, and that way you'll know you got a true square bed. Uh, another thing as I was building it, uh, following along in the instructions was very helpful, very detailed. I don't even think I had to read it, just to refer what screws went where. Obviously, building one, I could probably build another one without the instructions. Um, another key point is I put the G2 drive belt through each side and you leave excess on either side. And in the video, I started tightening them down and getting them tight, but I did have to go back, take and loosen these T-nuts back up. And then on the bottom here, on the roller carriage itself, there's an eccentric nut on the bottom. It's an, basically, if you don't know what that is, it's a nut that is like an egg. And it has, uh, it favors one side for thick and thin. And then once you put the included wrench on it, you snug it up the V wheel up to the bottom of the rail. And that snugs it up. You want to make sure you do that first before you go ahead and tighten the G2 belts. The gantry came pre-assembled. Everything seems to be tight on it. I do have a little bit of a wobble on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that back on and see if we could tighten that up. And that snugged it up very well. On the top belt, it's a little bit of slack on this end, and they leave it, but don't cut those off. Just leave them, because you never know when you have to readjust something, you're going to kick yourself if you cut it free. You know, you just can't grab, you need to be able to grab a hold of it. Like an inch sticks past either side, plenty. Um, power supply plugs into the control box. As you saw in the video earlier, I was like, where's my fourth leg? Well, it's right here. It's attached to the control box. So that goes together. Everything went together really easy. Um, the included accessories, the laser glasses, which a must. And please, if you're using lasers, don't have your small children around, animals, get them out of the work area. Let's be safe about that. Um, on the laser itself, there's adjustment screws that loosen them up and you can raise and lower. Now they also included this little piece of aluminum, 20 millimeters. So when we set up onto the surface we're cutting, we're gonna use this included piece of sample wood, which is, I'm guessing, three or four millimeters thick. You set it, and then you use that as a gauge onto the frame body of the laser. Now it sets that, how far the laser beam has to be off. You give that a good snug, and bring that out. I do have to bring out a laptop and have it here with it, there's no SD card insertion where you can make the file on a computer and then bring it and put it in here. So that's one thing that I have to work with. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fire up Lightburn, which I've never used before, and we're gonna learn how to do the logo, and we're gonna test this laser out. It is the Sculpt Fun S9. 
All right, well, I've been having some issues getting the laser to fire. And it came down to the older laptop I'm using wouldn't cooperate with the laser. So I do have a second computer in my workshop that's newer, and I ran a long USB cable, and lo and behold, we have some burning action. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire this thing up. And I was doing a test logo. Probably not perfect, but it's just going to give you an idea of, you know, the speed of this thing. And it really is burning very well. So let me go fire it up and see how it does. So one of the after effects of using the laser, or I should say byproducts of using the laser, this is burning wood. And you can probably see the smoke in the background. I have my garage door open and some airflow in here. And this is going to be a tool you cannot leave unattended. Have to have fire extinguisher in your garage workshop at all times the fumes it's burning wood okay this unit is capable of cutting through wood with a few other passes this is set for one pass and um, cutting through it you know you never know it could react with certain woods softer woods are probably more susceptible but i've also seen some youtube videos using this laser on printing on a manila envelope or a, a file for your file cabinet which is crazy to think but it does happen so um it looks like it's doing well i have it set for 700 millimeters per minute and 80% power and it's carving out very well and um, I'm just doing a little test logo for the new Amazon store coming up and uh, it's doing a really nice job I didn't have my lights on I apologize for this clip So yeah, the wood shop's going to smell like charcoal. It should be okay. When I use, when I'm going to be using other material, I think it'll be more forgiving. Etching glass and so forth. Burning into wood. Yeah, there's issues. So I'm going to set up a fan system that goes outside. And it's some type of a box duct that will draw that out to the outdoors. I don't want to hook up my dust collection because it really isn't going to do anything because it filters it back into the shop. So. Let's do the final pass. Obviously, we want to wear our included laser safety glasses to protect your eye. You guys can see the flash, and it is pretty bright. It has the orange collar around it. And there you have it. A couple minutes. Let's see if I can... I'm going to shut this off. We're going to move it out of the way. Hopefully my focus treats me well. GB Carvings and more. That's going to be the new Amazon store. I'm just going to work on a logo, but you can see how it's going to be a nice addition.
to my arsenal. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming by. Please like and subscribe. Tick that bell in the lower corner for notifications. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for coming by.